And yes, there's a new exhibit in town. It's called Butterflies in Flight. How much fun is that? And it's happening at the Museum of Nature, running until April 2nd. To talk about this very cool exhibit is the exhibition content developer, Nicole Dupuy. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Now, now you're the exhibition content developer. Yes. Does that mean that you came up with this idea? <laughs> well, no. You can no. take credit if you want. Uh, well, sure, yes. We won't tell your um, bosses. I I help develop the uh, all the information that goes into an exhibit. Okay. Uh, this is an idea that we've had for quite a long time because in the museum we had this beautiful space uh, called the solarium, and it was not a space that we had yet opened for the public. It's a space that was created when we did our big renovations, mm -hmm. and uh, because we were busy developing our permanent galleries, we didn't have time to develop an exhibit for this space. Oh, good. But uh, now we have the opportunity to show the space off with an incredible with exhibit. Butterflies. Yeah, very yeah. Exciting. So the space, like I said, the solarium is a very light um, window filled space mm -hmm. and we have filled it with plants for beautiful tropical plants. And uh, we have about two to three hundred individual butterflies Ooh, living in this space right now. I have to ask you though, yes. um, how exactly did you get those butterflies to the building? Yeah, so Into at this building. time of the year, there's not a lot of butterflies outside, right? Okay. Uh, we actually buy them from uh, butterfly farms in Costa Rica. Okay. So this is something I didn't know before the exhibit opened. There are actually farms that will uh, raise butterflies. Okay. So we get them, um, we get them at the cocoon stage so they're still in their chrysalis. So is that what we're seeing here right now is they're still in their yeah, cocoon stage? Yeah, exactly. So that's how we receive them. And it's uh, something else. It, they're really beautiful like each cocoon is, is like a gem really and uh, we actually have a what we're calling our butterfly nursery. Mm -hmm. So we have these um, racks where the uh, where the chrysalids are being hung, and that is actually uh, p the public will be able to watch that process happen. So when you come to the exhibit, you might actually see a butterfly emerge from its really? chrysalis. Yes, that is something else. Yeah, it's really cool. So you, we can see right now that uh, that one of our exhibit techs is uh, installing the chrysalis on the rack. And this is, like I said, behind glass, so people will be able to see that wonderful transformation. Okay. I'm sorry, how many different species did you say? So in the exhibit, it will vary over time, depending on what species we receive from Costa Rica, but we are looking between 20 and 40 different species. Wow, yeah. that's a beautiful thing. So, yes. so sorry, uh, Costa Rica, but is that to the only part of the world they're coming from? Well, uh, yes, so we're purchasing them from there. They are uh, known as a, a place of great biodiversity, and there are enormous amounts of uh, different butterfly species that are really well suited for this kind of exhibit so okay. yeah we're ordering them from there I love that so yeah. if you're in this area I'm just trying to uh, grasp this uh, will butterflies <laughs> be flying around my head absolutely really will they land on me and all they that can. Kind of stuff? Yeah. absolutely and I encourage people to dress up in bright colors because yeah. Of course, butterflies are attracted to bright colors. That's they're they're looking for flowers because that's their main source of food. So if you dress up in a very bright pink or red shirt, there's a better chance that a butterfly will land on you. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a bit mean though? Because then they'll be like, "There's no food here, right?" <laughs> well, yeah. we have lots of food out for them, so they're they're okay. <laughs> okay, uh, butterflies are good examples uh, of, of pollinators. Yeah, and I didn't know that because I think of pollinators. I guess I think of a bee. Yeah, that's right. So bees are probably the biggest pollinators, but uh, butterflies are not far behind. They're actually a really important uh, source of um, pollination. They, they do that service for plants, and basically uh, what is happening is when they do go to different flowers to feed, they often accidentally will transfer some of the pollen from one flower to the next, and, uh, and that That's will something. fertilize the flower. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's yes. wonderful. Yeah. And you brought a selection of uh, butterflies here as well. Yes, uh, yeah. They're not doing, I mean, they're in good shape. They're not doing so well. Though, well, they lethargic. They're these, yeah, they're they're they've been doing a lot of flying. Yep. No, these are these are some pin specimens uh, from our collections, but um, I just wanted to show sort of the variety that people can expect when they come to the exhibit. Okay. Um, so butterflies have a very short lifespan. They will live between a couple of weeks to maybe a month in mm -hmm. general. So uh, because the show is on for several months, we will be going through several generations of butterflies. That's something I'm noticing though. I mean, if we can get another shot, isn't that a giant fly? It, it's not a fly. So. 
It's actually a cicada. That's a cicada, so a yes. cicada? Yes. It's not in the show, but uh, yeah, we. this is just kind of a, okay. a selection of just different insects. Sure. <laughs> yes. No, no cicadas in the show. Butterflies have not changed over no, the years. No, and actually and there's a few moths, like this is a luna okay. moth, but it, it, it is uh, mostly butterflies. Okay. <laughs> uh, lots of stuff, of course, for the kids to see and absolutely, do. Uh, absolutely. Kid zones and everything. Yeah, so we have a kid zone where there's all kinds of uh, kind of tropical themed activities. And uh, if people come on the weekends, there's some uh, ins really fun insect activities in our lab, which is also in the basement. And um, yeah, there'll be some activities for family day. I encourage people to uh, visit our website, nature.ca, because mm -hmm. they'll find the calendar and, and know exactly you know what's going on uh, every day. Mm -hmm. And I did want to mention that the show, uh, the butterfly show, um, it is a timed ticket. Okay. And the tickets do sell out. So if people are planning on coming to the museum on a specific day, I highly encourage them to buy their tickets in advance, which they can do on our website. It's really easy. And then that way you can reserve the time you want. That's a good tip. Yes. And it's happening until April 2nd at the yes. Museum of Nature. Yeah, it's a great way to escape the cold. Wow. Love the Museum of Nature. I've been going ever since I was a, I was a wee one, <laughs> and I still go. Yep. And thank you very much for bringing these uh, amazing butterflies here to Canada. Oh, thanks to for uh, giving me an opportunity to talk about it. Thank you, Nicole. All right. We've got more daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers. There's always something going on. Please don't go anywhere.